Daytime with Aston Avery. Now, epilepsy is a condition that affects around hundreds of thousands of people in the UK. And for many of them, the experiences of having a seizure in public are nothing short of harrowing. The stigma surrounding epilepsy and potentially having a seizure in public is causing people to feel isolated and excluded from social events. Now, over half a report that they have avoided public places due to the fear of having seizure. With people with epilepsy also facing emotional trauma and physical danger when having seizures seizures in public though and here to highlight about how people with epilepsy pub face public seizure stigma and the fear of being filmed as part of epilepsy awareness week are my guests i'm joined by imogen Cawthory, who is uh who is uh, from bristol and also rebecca smith who is the deputy ceo of epilepsy action so rebecca imogen welcome to gateway thank you aston thanks Hi. very much hi Hi, Imogen. Hi, Rebecca. And Rebecca, I'm going to come over to you first. It's sad to hear about this uh, research that you yourselves, Epilepsy Action, have uncovered here today, surrounding epilepsy, especially within the public se sector here and especially within pu Joe Public as well. Yeah, it's really shocking, Aston. And, uh, you know, I think even for us who regularly are talking to people about their experiences, hearing some of these statistics was was particularly challenging and and has really led us to sort of use, you know, the, this week, National Epilepsy Week, to highlight what's going on and also to share some really sort of basic information about how people can support people with epilepsy when they're out and about living their normal lives. Exactly, which is why I use uh, Epilepsy Action here, where Rebecca have launched the uh, CARE acronym here. So would you like to explain more about this uh, acronym and also posters that you've created to support uh, people with epilepsy out there today? Yeah, absolutely. So we've got a really great video, very short, very simple, which you can get off our website if you go to Epilepsy Action. And then it's just really kind of four steps that we're asking people to think about. So if, if you see anyone that is having a seizure or looks like they're about to collapse, then the CARE acronym is really something to follow. So the first stage is about comforting them. So make sure that they're cushioned on their head, um, you know, that they're in a position, they're lying in a position that they can breathe. Um, the next stage is really action. So think about um, how long the seizure is going on for, time it if you can or get someone nearby to time it and look for information. So someone like Imogen, who's um, affected by seizures regularly, she always carries round information around her neck, which explains what to do and how to support someone having a seizure. So that's, that's something to look for straight away um, if you come across it. And then it's reassure, stay with someone, reassure them, don't leave them, they will come round, they'll be disorientated. And finally, really emergency, the ease for emergency, if it has gone on for longer than five minutes or it seems to be something that someone's not suffered from before, then call an ambulance uh, and do that at that point. And uh, Imogen, I'm going to come over to you here, if that's OK with you right now, I have to say here. Would you like to explain to our listeners about your own personal impacts with uh, epilepsy here to our listeners to make them aware of epilepsy here? Yes, um, well, I've had epilepsy since the age of nine, so that's uh, nearly 30 years. And it's um, certainly varied. Um, I have them quite frequently these days, probably every three weeks or so. Uh, I've had a variety of treatments. And I can be very anxious going out um, on social nights and so on, um, because it's, it's all down to luck how the public are going to react. Um, I've had times where people have been so kind and stopped and um, made sure that I'm okay, given me reassurance, which is so important because once I wake from a seizure, I'm so scared. I'm, where am I? Who are you? What's going on? And um, other times when people have just walked past or they've been too scared to do anything, and that's not good. I think it's about time that everyone knows how to react towards a seizure um, and, you know, give us our rights to have our freedom. And do you feel, how, do you have that courage now there, uh, Imogen, as well, to go out in public realising that it can affect you, but then there's people around you that are aware about this today here? 
Well, yeah, there, I've had, I've had um, some good experiences, as I said. So I've, you know, times I've woken in the middle of the park and <laughs> on the grounds, and I'm just like, what's going on? And I've had wonderful people help me. Um, I've experienced stigma and so on, and lots of people overreact um, when I've had seizures, and I've been, stay calm, it's okay, it's okay. Um, but it's, I don't, it really, it really um, depends on the day. I get, I'm, fortunately I get warnings. Um, so when I, like on Wednesday, I was getting so many warnings and then I still decided to go out and what well, you know, I have a fit. Um, but I had some lovely people help me. Um, but it's tricky. And it's great that you get the support here, Imogen, from uh, people like Epilepsy Action that can actually support to you along the way as well and help you get to get support from what if you have another seizure, epilepsy, as they say as well. But it's nice to see that you get that support from Epilepsy Action as well. Well, Epilepsy Action, absolutely brilliant. I've contacted them many times. After recent um, experience in Mexico, the tour guide being very mean to me, after I had a seizure and she accused me of ruining people's holidays, um, not taking care of myself. I shouldn't be doing holidays like this and so on. I was very upset and I lost confidence in traveling. Um, so I contacted Epilepsy Action immediately and asked for their help. And um, at times of treatments, I've contacted them for their opinion. On what do you think of brain surgery? What do you think of the vagus nerve stimuli? Things like that. They're great. And Rebecca, I'm going to come back to you here because uh, those that uh, who have epilepsy here, they also can be vulnerable to uh, certain uh, aspects here, like they could be victims of being robbed or even assaulted as well, which is sad to see that as well. And it's not what we want to see with people with epilepsy here. No, it's, it's really scary, isn't it? That, you know, in this day and age when people should be aware that, you know, things like this are going on, that, that that's, you know, people are still having to tell those stories. Um, you know, and I mean, we find it as shocking as everyone else. And, and I think the, the thing that we find particularly sad is that, you know, it, it, people with epilepsy are, are saying to us as a charity, please raise public awareness, not please help us, but please help others to help us. You know, and, and that's something that, you know, we shouldn't have to be saying now because people are empowered with all these different ways of communicating to just spend a couple of minutes to find out what they should do. Um, and, and, you know, and that's and obviously that's why we're here talking to you today. Exactly. Another other factor as well, you've got to look at like uh, public areas as well, like airports, for instance, and also other places that uh, people are likely to be in, in, in the eye of the public as well. Are they more aware about epilepsy now than they were ever before here and also like different workplaces, etc. here? Yeah, some are. I mean, it's really, you know, like we, we, you know, we see some companies really go out of their way to make sure all their staff are trained. Of course, it usually happens when they employ someone with epilepsy or schools, particularly. We have a lot of teachers come and do our free training courses um, through our e-learning programs because, you know, they, they have a pupil in their class or something. But of course, that doesn't help the people with epilepsy who are just about on a normal you know day doing their shopping or whatever you, you don't need to have a member of staff um with epilepsy you need to understand that your customers will also be coming in and and they too may, may have a seizure so we're just encouraging everyone and anyone to just be aware of these kind of four four elements that they can go through to support people now uh, imogen any advice for listeners here on how they can be more aware about uh, people with epilepsy like yourself as well well, Epilepsy Action has um, loads of brilliant information, videos um, and so on that you can look up and it can teach you how to handle a, a seizure. And then um, I think we need more, um, I don't know, posters around, you know, at the back of buses, you see cancer, cancer, cancer. Um, what about epilepsy, epilepsy, epilepsy? Um, this is the brain, you know, the brain controls absolutely everything. Uh, it's so precious. Any slight damage to it really affects one's life. And I think it needs to be appreciated more. And um, so let's look at, you know, 
raising awareness of epilepsy and and everything. So, I no, no, you go. So, uh, Rebecca, if our listeners want to find out all the information and want to download the uh, epilepsy awareness pack that you yourselves have launched here, is there anywhere our listeners can find out all the information and find out more about the epilepsy uh, care acronym and much more? Uh, about absolutely. Epilepsy? Yeah. I mean, asking if, if they can go, if they can either search for epilepsy action or epilepsy.org.uk. Uh, forward slash care it's all there there's things to download lots of free material lots of information about other types of seizures um and and you know a lot of stuff about the stigma and things that you should and shouldn't do um that people have perhaps in the past thought they were helping when they're not so it's all there it's all on our website so I like to say there, Rebecca Smith, Deputy CEO of Epilepsy Action, and Imogen Cuthery there from Bristol. Thank you both for joining me on Gateway 97.8 today to discuss more about epilepsy and raise awareness surrounding epilepsy as part of Epilepsy Awareness Week.